because we have two employees in that store. One is telling me that he came in with security. He came mm -hmm. in with the, the, the gentleman that was in the video. The, 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 the gentleman who we see with the dreads. With who, the dreads. Okay, yeah. so that, that's the one employee is saying that he came in with that gentleman. That's that's the security that's guard. What, that's what was told to me. Okay. But what I'm hearing now, okay, this is where we get conflicted. Because everybody's saying stuff happened so fast and stuff. That guy was sitting in the car at the time that all this stuff happened. And he realized something was about to pop up. That's what was told to me, okay? I was not there, so I do not know exactly how this whole situation went. I don't know. I can just only go by what my employees tell me when I ask them what happened. And we're not going to ask them too many times because the person that actually was ringing this gentleman up at the time, mm -hmm. she's traumatized by all this stuff. So we can't keep going over and over. She had already go downtown. Okay. And when she, okay, okay. The woman who went downtown and got and got interviewed multiple times, did she was she able to tell them who was Dolph in the store with? Was was did he walk in she with somebody? Say, yeah, she was able to tell them everything, but the police didn't come back and tell us what she said. I mean, that's how detective work goes, people. When they put you in an interrogation room, they're not gonna tell you everything that was said. They're gonna get their statement and they're gonna keep asking them the same questions to make sure their statement stays the same. That is how it works. And if it stays the same and they feel like that everybody's telling the truth, they're going to rule you out. That's how it goes. And they they stuck to the story each time. They didn't flinch. Nothing changed. They wrote that stuff down to a T. They typed it up, signed it, and walked out the door. That is the reason why we're not being investigated because there it is. That's what happened. It's, it's uncut. That's it. So, okay. So tell me this. So when it, when it's all said and done, to, so you said to your knowledge, you not for sure, you still even a little I'm bit not. confused on whether somebody was in the store with Dolph at the time of this, at, at, at the time of this shooting. Right. Was I'm Dolph, sure. so we don't know if he was, if, we don't know if he was in the store alone by, I mean, so you heard a security guard came in with him. We don't I know. Did. So we don't, but we don't know if when the shooting broke out, if it was actually a security guard in the store with him. Right. But was there anybody else in the store besides Dolphin and security guard? No, sir. Does, does Makita's have a bathroom? You have a restroom in there? We have a restroom in a hallway. It's mm -hmm. two bathrooms. It's okay. a woman and a man in that hallway right there. <laughs> if you know the out, the outlet of it, like the mm -hmm. whole layout of it. See, I wish I could get it because... People are thinking that when you open that door, bam, there's the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That is so not true. That is not true at all. Okay, so you when you walk the door, go ahead. You, I'm sorry. Okay, when you walk in Makita's, where with the back, we see the counter is right here. It's a um, it's a door right here. It's a door. What's behind that door that's right there we can see from the window? What's behind that door? The door is the hallway, but on the side, on the side are two restrooms. You got a women's bathroom and a men's bathroom, but it's kind of like a little long hallway. It's not short, short, like as soon as you open that door, they go to the bathroom, bam. That's not how that goes. That is, is it, not it. Is it a way to get out through that door? Is it a way to get out the restaurant through that door? The out the restaurant? No, not through, right. well, all the way back in the kitchen. In but, the but, kitchen, we got but a back door in the kitchen. Okay, but if you read, but if somebody went through that door, they don't have to necessarily come back out the front no more. No, they do not. If they go in the back door, but again, you have to think about it. We got cameras back there. We got oh. cameras in the kitchen. Okay. We got cameras in the kitchen. We got cameras in the front, and we got cameras outside. So if anybody magically came through that back door or out that back door, I promise you, the police would have caught it. They would have caught it. And we would be in a lot of trouble right now. So it is, so it's cameras back. So if anybody come yes. or go out that back door. Actually, riding by is a big expressway. See, nobody on here that has their accusations or their claims are from Memphis. So y'all don't even know how Airways is. Airways is a big express. It's, it's, it's long as crap. That's like one of the busiest streets we got. So when they're seeing stuff and they're seeing people crowd around, you know, what do people do when they see stuff like that? What do people normally do, people? They pull over, they hop out. What's going on? Because everybody's nosy as crap. 
Did nobody even try to call the police or nothing? You know, the first thing everybody did took their phone and started recording stuff. Okay, so who dispatched the police? How did the police? Who who called the police? Was the outside that called the police? Did somebody call the police on the inside? Who? who? Somebody on the inside. My the manager of the store, which is my cousin now, is the one we have. We have two ways we can call the police. The quickest way, we got an emergency button. Just press it, pow. They right up the street. They gonna come. Now, if we don't, they don't know exactly what's going on, they're probably going to send one unit. They're going to send one. So while he pushed that button, we had another employee literally calling 911. Now, this was after they got up and was ducking from all the, the bullies that you guys are thinking. They were hearing the shots, too. Okay. They heard the shots, too. So, and what do people normally do when they hear gunshots, people? Anybody know? You duck or you yeah. run. You're not going to go see what's going on up there. You're going to try to protect yourself. And that's exactly what they did. They didn't know what was going on. They just heard gunshots. Period. So, so you got up. Dog didn't get up. That's so, what happened. So tell me this. When it comes to the restaurant, did any bullets make it, you know, we see the gunfire that came through the window. We see most of it at the bottom. Was any other parts of this restaurant damaged up? Were they in the back? What stopped them from getting hit? That, you know what I mean? Because it seemed like somebody else would have got hit. Was there any damage to the rest of the store? What, what, yeah. what happened back there where they was there? Did any bullets come back there? What yeah. happened? There was bullet holes through the door that you guys are claiming is where the bathroom is. It's going straight to the back. It's going straight to the back. Actually, it's a bullet hole in the kitchen where my cousin usually stands when he's baking cookies. If he was right there, it would have been over with. It just so happens he was in the office at the time. He was in the office at the time. It, it, since everybody got to know so much, he was in the office at the time sealing up the cookies because that's where our sealer is. After we bake cookies, we go in the office, got this little bitty office, and we're sealing cookies. That's what happened. So it's bullet holes going, like I say, going straight to the back, straight to the back. Okay, so bullet yeah. hole. So you telling me when the gunfire erupted, Bullets did get, they saying that they was ducking, bullets was coming, they, they, sh, 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 things okay. moving around. This is what was told to me. Okay, yeah. The person that was ringing him up at the time. This is how everything went on. Now, this is how, this is what I heard. Doc came in that store. He said, give me two lemons, two strawberries. He received a phone call. He said, hold on for a second. Walked out to the side, took his call. She was standing there for a split second, it only, and it only takes a second for everybody. This was this girl's second week at our shop. She had just got hired. She's never experienced anything like this in her entire life. Let me let me just stress that, okay? She was waiting on him to finish his call on the side. Apparently, it was important because Dolph took a phone call. He went to the side. Dolph has never taken any phone calls. He's never been in the store no more than a minute. No more than a minute, people. He goes in, gets cookies, go back out. I appreciate y'all. See y'all next time. That's how the conversation goes every single time. So what she told me was basically she stood there. She waited for him to come back. But at the time of that, white car pull up. She see two people jump out. Pow. She, they get a little bit closer. She see guns. She froze. Her eyes got wide. And then when the first shot went off, pow, she ran. That's how that went. Exactly how that now. And see, again, y'all got to think about something else. So if we're so, uh, we're, we're the conspirators, right? We're the ones that got him set up and all that good stuff. So he's been coming for six plus years, right? Sometimes by himself. We could have been did that, right? I mean, just think about this now. Why do we choose now after all these years? To do this. What was the family in any kind of financial danger of losing any of y'all locations? No, sir. Was there any financial danger y'all was in that could have made y'all um wanna wanna sit up young dog? Was Absolutely there any not. My mom just signed for a building downtown um back in uh, March. We had to renovate that whole building downtown. So everybody thinking, oh, you guys opened up the shop. Uh, I think that man just died. That's so disrespectful. Y'all don't even know which building it was because it's not that building. That building was already open, people. We just hadn't opened to the public yet. See what I'm saying? Our grand opening was on November the 6th, okay? That building was already open downtown. So please stop thinking what you guys are thinking and stop listening to these YouTubers. Stop it.
T- okay, tell me this. Let's go. Let's go back to the uh, to the phone call real quick. When you heard okay. when you when uh did y'all want to ask you this too? Did your dad tell you that he ever touched Young Dog? Did your he dad ever? That, I never said it. Okay, because we heard on the we heard on the interview where you said you could hear uh, your dad saying, "Stay with me, dog. Stay with me, man." Okay. What was that? Break that down to me. That was the second call that I got that nobody told you guys about because you didn't see the whole interview. I told that lady I got two calls. She didn't put that on there. See what I'm saying? So let's break it down then. When I got the first call and these folks told, and my dad told me what just happened. Me and my mom are frantic because we don't really know all the facts. If anybody tells you that somebody just died, you're not going to ask a lot of questions. You're just going to want to go where the scene is as soon as possible. We didn't ask anything. When somebody's telling you something like this and it's a family member, you run to the scene. My mom was literally shaking. She was crying. Who's hurt? What's going on? I said, Mom, let me drive. You're not in the condition to drive. Let's go over there and see what happened. On the way there, if anybody knows about Memphis, which I don't think anybody on this YouTube platform knows because they've never been. But if you've ever been to Memphis, it takes literally 15 to 20 minutes to get from where I am, which was downtown Memphis, to Airways. Every time we were on the expressway getting there, that's when I got call number two. Everything was pretty much, you know, already handled the police on the scene. And my dad got the employees out there on the side. Because if you see that Facebook uh, footage, wasn't my dad on the side of the building? Yeah, he was oh, on yeah. the side of the building, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's when he I saw that. That was call number two, okay? He called back. My mama put it on speaker. Baby, everybody okay? She, yeah, yeah, everybody in the store okay. Uh, besides, man, man, they didn't got young dog, man. That, he said it just like that. It's people still screaming and everything in the background, though. You can hear a lot of commotion. You can hear everybody just going crazy and all that stuff. When he said that, literally said, man, they done got young dog, man. I lost it. Like, I let go of the wheel. Like, what? Like, I'm freaking out. Okay? So everybody thought I wasn't crying or freaked out on my interview. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Put yeah. a pin in it. I freaked. I let go of the wheel. I 